you may quickly okay. show what are the changes you have can you show the delta yeah Viewpoint. yeah the earlier design looked very old yeah, yeah, yeah. style yeah. and in addition to that it felt very form like okay. so here we come to this screen i can enter the details here i can skip the page and it will this overlay will come up but i can cancel or go to the next screen or i can go directly to the home and say, skip the entire process and whatever progress i've made it will be saved did you did you take and any here, or you did you build all these things yourself i took material design but then i changed and tweaked the thing and used my like i made my own design kit and got not it. design kit the entire thing but i used it as an inspiration got and it and then i go to the screen where i can select the gender and these options and then i can go to the next screen i was having initially problem with how to click on only one of these so that the others are deselected automatically oh. i not like in this the old ui i did not have it figured mm. out that's why i only kept like this one active the rest i deactivated to kind of make it work and then i go to the next screen and you can click on what actually maruj that is totally okay <clears throat> that's one thing which a lot of people are struggling with just let me tell them about that before you go forward so generally when we prototype stuff we generally prototype it for one story that means let us say in this example just go back once yeah in this example the story i want to tell is about selecting married as an option mm -hmm. i would only prototype that and go forward okay. unlike i'm not building this app for let us say like the full fledged algorithm because okay. what will happen if i select marry divorce whatever then what is a relationship like can i let us say this is a simple one but there will be few things where everything is related the whole form is related to one another now mm -hmm. we can't sit and get stuck in all the interrelationships between how everything in a form works because that's what a back end developer will do right that's not something which we really need to care about because obviously let us say tomorrow your ux changes you decide on a different type of flow or whatever it is then all the logics which you have built conditional logics which you have built all of them will go away of course for experimentation once or twice you guys can do that but don't think that every screen should work as if it is coded okay, that's not what we do as designers we prototype mm -hmm. stuff so that people who are representing to either a stakeholder or a developer who understands what is the idea and then takes it up as a project if they really want to build it they will also work on these things let's say when we when you hand this off there's a developer right the architects there will sit and think of all these things oh what are the relationships what happens should that is their job their job is not really to think about why is it important for a user or how does it look or whatever this is not what their job is their job is to literally figure out how to code this what are the logics behind it how does it work so we need not do that right okay yeah this, this kind of unlocks a lot of people's questions so from here we can click on next and there is another issue that was facing that suppose i click on this and then i mm -hmm. click on this i cannot deactivate this at the same time these both of these kind of stay highlighted probably this answers that question as well right. yeah so then i go to next and then i over the status changing what is happening there on press the status is changing when you click on it the status and it doesn't change changing. back it does I didn't have a problem then. No, 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 no. Oh, you're like speaking about that. Not on hover. When I like, uh, it has the interaction. So when I click on it, the status changes to focused. Here, like I can, I have yeah, to because only manually on you have you are changing the state. That's how we have defined it. Yeah, yeah. So that it, I can understand that this is the one I'm filling basically. Yeah, so But when I click on this, on clicking on enter amount. you could fill them out because it's just a prototype again right yeah. you have to build it like of course like I, i know because most of you guys have not seen real work that's why uh, a lot of you getting confused mm -hmm. here i'll tell you the way i would have prototype general right i wouldn't have given all the fields as examples like the moment i entered the screen i would have already made the amount or something like that one important thing i would have selected because it's just an example i did that in the next prototype actually ah, good 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 good, good yeah. right or what i would have done is if it is important for me to show all of them then one screen i'll make with the focus state on screen another screen i'll make with get let's say deselected state or something mm -hmm. like that. right i'll put both of them in separate screens upon clicking it go just goes to the next screen instead of internally behaving 
conditional var uh, like prototype to help with that because i don't have a paid version i couldn't like it, it will that. help but that's not the point that's what i'm saying ages let's say for the last 10 15 years many designers have designed a lot of stuff without conditional prototyping how okay. so that's not the point like conditional prototyping is you will use it if you want to build it like a developer you don't want to that's not how you want your files to be here that's not our job basically because the conditional prototyping is very difficult to build to literally sit and write all the algorithms it is very difficult the moment you do that the fidelity becomes so high that we don't want to change so yeah so hey i have given this option like yes no yes no and it was very repetitive if you clicked on yes like i did not want users to have to see this take space when you don't have this disease kind of thing so this came up only when you clicked on yes and you could select whatever diseases or chronic conditions you have and in the same way it would you could click on no and nothing would happen and i uh, divided them into sections but it was a very repetitive thing that yes no yes no i okay and i could click on no or here yes and yeah this is and there was an option to add more i did not make some like changes to it like it's not a, an active button here so then i go to the next screen and then there were these questions and you could like select can you and, yeah. now show the improvements which you had uh, okay yeah okay so please showcase us your new ui okay this is my new ui it's a slight improvement probably it starts like this and earlier i had used geomorphic buttons but then i was actually learning how to make geomorphic buttons that's why i took that effort but here i shifted to flat buttons because it looked cleaner got and it and then i get click on get started and here i also added a press state where it's like this to showcase this is what would happen when you are typing and then there is this calendar it was early as well there i used the airbnb whatever we learned i learned in the airbnb in you can scroll it and then i click on this entire thing and it shows what the filled state would be like and the next button is activated only when the entire thing is filled i also changed the position of the skip button and i displayed progress earlier i was not doing that i changed the position of the skip button it was here and now i kept it here and it's kind of smaller because this is not what i wanted the user to focus on i wanted them to complete it but i also wanted them to give them the ability to skip it so i kind of kept it next to progress and it would display that you can come back to this later this is the only screen that you will be skipping yeah and then i went to next and here i did work on how to change the state but i did not need to oh, okay fine can you go back once yes ha huh, how did you make sure the next button is enabled only on you can call the fields uh, i actually made two screens for this i did not know how to i made two screens here that was the problem i was earlier facing but here i just thought that whatever works so me so here for example it's not working even though i clicked it i wanted to showcase what it will look like when you but only gets activated because i made a next screen where like another screen where it is activated so yeah uh, uh, then i go to the next you are able to how did you do this this all of them are different screens uh, i actually created this option where i prototyped it like internally so that when you click on one it oh it will... oh god yeah I but this is not this. scalable i understand that yeah i understand what you have done this is not scalable obviously that's why conditional prototyping exists but again point okay that's why see one good part is you have learned this you have burnt your hands on this you learned it tomorrow let's say some situation comes you can do but like for a real ux project let's say tomorrow you are doing a freelance ux project or let us say you are working in a company should you do like this not required not at all this is too much of effort but good that you have learned i will click on next and in same way you can do this all the other interactions here but i made this another screen where it's filled and yeah. and yeah i changed on uh, and other group members they suggested that yes no was a very repetitive thing so mm. instead you could use a toggle switch where they don't have to necessarily press it's only when yes you can like and it looks oh, nice. cleaner it's not repetitive so i also added chips instead of the check boxes and the other thing i did was i was keeping the next button at the end of the screen that they would have to scroll necessarily but i kept it like pinned so that it's visible even when you're like you don't have to scroll to reach the next button it's visible on the screen makes sense another change i made 
and you can click on these things and current medication and all it's here and you can yeah and then i'll go to the next screen from here and this is it's the same almost and it's also the same and in previous insurance i also added the same checkbox here for the previous insurance and i changes the start date end date to this and the calendar overlay would open here as well in the same way though it would open for the dop and how did you do that on different screen i created this no i created this overlay so it opened ah okay so that opens whenever you click on that icon isn't it yes and the icon is coming from where the component the component it's not here i have created the styles part where i've kept all these components in one place the fields and all there's an icon a field with an icon enabled and the icon disabled uh, i've kept it like these are the old uis and this is like the new i change the colors and all everything everything is basically here the icons the fields the buttons the check boxes everything i've kept like my entire library for the components is here basically i've kept it in one place the colors and all Makes sense. except the typography i did not at the end because uh, i had to copy it to this and i have to because i did not have stu a student was in there and that's why i did not get time to in the end do that so everything i've kept here basically so yeah cool this attitude of utilizing whatever is there and you're trying to do is the best because tomorrow if the tool releases new features you'll use it if it doesn't you'll still build the idea is even if i ask you to build ui on illustrator you should be able to do it right because yeah. if the tool has features you'll use it if the tool doesn't have features you'll not use it but ultimately can you prototype or not is the question yeah okay so i have you if you allow me i'll give you some feedback are you open for it yes of course yeah um, okay the last thing i want to show as well because i made it made some changes to it as well i'll just share it sure, no worries i'll talk about a few aspects some of the things which a lot of people have done that's why i wanted to talk about so what i'll do is i'll quickly take your file and a few things which i'll quickly point out and you'll all realize that you have also done similar mistakes not mistakes i should say i wouldn't call these things as mistakes but i'll call this as a way in which you can do it in a much better manner okay so the first question is why did you choose to use a gradient background like this because it looked more aesthetic the earlier one looked so dull and it looked slightly modern i was like worried about my aesthetic and the other thing the box i removed because it was taking unnecessary space i could give that to a content like this box behind the that i removed because i felt like it was taking unnecessary space yeah i understand fine so let's see let's say you are in the situation generally using colored backgrounds behind text it hampers accessibility okay so this text let's say this text is not going to be as readable as some text which is on the let us i put the same text somewhere here the way this will be readable would be very different compared to this you yourself can observe on the screen it's not just about gradients it's about in places like this it's still fine Okay, image background so, so there, there are some people who just put image backgrounds on the entire <laughs> ui right these are like not really great practices one because it is access accessibility one is a big problem visually also see again visually things are very subjective right you might find this visually very cool but not a lot of people will right now so how do you go beyond the individual subjectivity which we have when it comes to visuals that's when we have to go and get inspiration right now let's say you go to platforms like dribble behance or stuff like that ux wise will not be so great because most of the things which are shown over there are just concepts or things which people have just done visual explorations people have done right ux wise they might not be great but the visual trends which they bring in are usually good so these are the places where we'll have to go and find some inspiration okay